What's up, guys? This is Linus, the Taiwanese who teaches Chinese online. Today, we won't be focusing on teaching Chinese, but rather talk a bit about Chinese culture. More specifically, what you should know when dating a Taiwanese girl. To prepare this video, I talked to many of my female friends who have dated foreigners before about the cultural differences you may encounter when dating a Taiwanese girl. Taiwanese girls are generally very kind, so they tend to adapt themselves or high wave feelings when it comes to cultural differences. So, please allow me to speak for them. Just as a head up, this video is not for casual hookup relationships. If you just want to hook up, this video might not be for you. Number one, learn Chinese. Don't tell me that you love her if you are not willing to learn her language. It's not just for Chinese, but all languages, and it's the same for the opposite gender. Communication is key. By learning the language, you will be able to understand more about her, the way she thinks, and even the culture. What's more, there are massive chances for you to meet her friends, colleagues, and the family. Imagine how fast you can break the ice by speaking only a few words in Chinese, not to mention if you can really speak it. And that's the power of language. Number two, sex confirms the relationship. In Taiwan, many girls regard sex as a gift that they only give to someone they like or love. This is the reason why we say Ni Gaidama, did you give it to him? Or in other words, did you sleep with him? Casual sex is not that common in Taiwan. If you didn't make it clear before you slept with a Chinese girl, it's not uncommon for her to ask you. So so, what is the relationship between you and me now? When hearing any similar and your answer is not let's be together, guess what? Boom! You are considered a fuck boy. I previously made a videos about what fuck boys might say in Mandarin Chinese. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Number three, keep social distancing with all the girls. Some cultures may have last boundaries between men and women. However, I can tell you that most of the time your Taiwanese girlfriend won't like it. Being close to other female friends you have is something that is generally not very popular. She might not say a word or react because she feels like she should accept your cultural background and keep all the negative feelings to herself. But with time, it might add up and eventually explode. Hopefully, this will never happen, but there's no reason for you to unnecessarily set off a loose cannon. Number four, nothing means something. I believe that this one is quite universal and can be found in most cultures. When girls answer nothing to the question what's wrong, it usually means that something happened. Number five, some local people might talk shit and say your girlfriend only like foreign stuff. Some local guys might be very jealous when they see a Taiwanese girl dating a foreigner and sarcastically say that the girl looks down upon Taiwanese guys, the girl only likes foreigners, and other unnecessary insults behind her back. This is very ignorant and unfair because everyone has their own preference when it comes to choosing a partner. Unfortunately, this kind of speech does exist. So if your girl is dealing with this kind of verbal abuse, you should be there and support her. Number six, meeting parents is a big deal. In our culture, meeting a girlfriend's parents is not as casual as visiting friends. It has much deeper meaning. If your girlfriend introduces you to her parents, it usually means that she wants to go to the last level with you. If she's very serious, then it might even mean marriage. I know that you love your girlfriend, but take a moment to think about it before you meet her parents, as there could be more to it than meet the eye. Thank you for watching this video. Of course, the above distant things do not apply to all Taiwanese girls. However, they are the most general ideas you may encounter when dating Taiwanese girls. Hopefully, being aware of these can help remove some of the cultural barriers and bring more harmony to your relationship. I will soon also make another videos about the things that you must know when dating Taiwanese guys. 
If you like my content, make sure that you subscribe, like, and share. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.